Hello everyone, my name is Brian and welcome to Broke Ballistics where the guns aren't broke, I am. Today we're shooting at uh, ceramic tile. Um, I know that they add that to um, high level body armor in order to break up rounds, but how much of it would it take to stop a bullet? Let's find out together. So, ceramic tile set up. Big old, I think they're 16 by 16 inch tiles. Um, we are gonna start with uh, our baseline, which is the 22 long rifle out of a six inch barrel from this, uh, I keep on having to read it. It's the Heritage Rough Rider. So we'll see what kind of damage this does. Taking the safety off because that's important to fire around. I'm gonna put this just right in the center because I don't imagine the tile will survive. Huh. Fascinating. Make sure that this area is clear so I'm not dirtying someone else's gun. <laughs> there is the round. It didn't even make it through the first one. It's literally stopped it right on the front. I think it may have shattered the one behind it. It did. So it broke two tiles. For ease, I'm actually going to leave these tiles in place. So we'll shoot, but we can see from the top and the side, only the front two broke. So bullet stopped in the first, broke the second. We're going to go up to nine millimeter now and see what kind of damage that does. Three breaks. It's a peace sign made by a gun. How ironic. So we are going to put this shot underneath the 22. we We're shooting ball ammunition out of the SP 2022. This is the broke ballistics channel. I only have like five guns, so you're going to see a lot of repeats. Okay, I'm going to put this underneath the 22. All right. That was a lot more reaction. That is fascinating. Okay, so the bullet actually only went through, it looks like maybe two. Yeah, I went through two of them. It actually stopped on the third and the rest of this damage is energy transfer. So, like, you can see first plate, second plate, third plate where the bullet hit completely intact. But you can see where the bullet just bounced off. Because the bullet bounced off, we're gonna shoot further back moving forward so uh, I don't die. All right, I'm gonna clear this off. We're gonna reset and we're gonna move up to, we're gonna do shotgun. We're gonna do a we're gonna do a sable round. We'll just do the sable round on this one. Because uh, I wanna make sure we have enough left to stop the higher rounds we have planned for the later video. So, give us a second to reset. We'll come back with a 20 gauge shotgun with a 325 grain sabo slug. And we'll see what kind of damage, damage that does. Excuse me. Okay. We are now shooting a 325 grain sabo slug out of a 12 gauge shotgun. These are supposed to be shoot out of a rifle barrel. The only reason I'm using them is because there's an ammo shortage right now and this is the only slug I can get a hold of. So we are gonna shoot this and see what kind of damage it does. So far, the nine went through two plates and like broke five. So the front plate is broken from the nine millimeter, but everything behind it is solid. I just got hit by shrapnel. Let's go see what kind of damage we did. All right, so what happened is what I feared, we're breaking more tiles than uh, 
I anticipated. We're probably not going to be able to get up to the motion because we have broken tiles all the way from one, two, three, four, five, six, five from the back. So I, I cannot tell from this mess where, how many rounds it went through. It looks like it just turned everything into gravel. So to save this, I'm actually just gonna put the 223 through right here. We still have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20 uh, plates here. We'll see how far it goes through and uh, we'll go from there. Also, I left my nine millimeter on the table that I just shot. So, uh, good thing this stopped or that could have been bad. Uh, let's move up to the uh, 223 and see what it does. So we are now shooting 223 out of my home built AR-15. Um, broken tile still on the thing, so that way we can still have some because they've broken all the way to five with that slug. Um, when it's done, we'll sift through the mess, see if we can find anything. So we are probably danger close, but uh, eh, you only live once, right? Okay, safety is on, taking the safety off. We're gonna put one right in the lower right hand corner of this. I'm actually gonna take out the uh, shoulder rest this time. You know, less damage than the shotgun. I'm actually rather surprised. Let's go look at that. So it looks like the round hit right about here. And I think it looks like it only broke through. How many tiles? Have One, two, three, four, maybe five. So I think the extra mass at the shotgun is what caused the extra damage because the actual penetration, yeah, I can see where it stopped four tiles in. So there's a high chance if I hit here that the Mosin round will not go all the way through this. So ceramic tile, really strong. There's a reason why we used it in body armor. That is really impressive. Okay. All right, so we have the biggest round that I own. It's 7.62 by 54R. Shooting out of the Mosin Nagant. Gun made in 1959. All original parts. Love this gun. Really fun to shoot. Really accurate even though it's older than I am. We're going to put a shot on the top right-hand corner of that because that's, I think, the most tile we have left. With how this tile's been holding up, I can't imagine this is going to go through more than like five or, uh, plates, but we'll see. I could be completely wrong. So let's get this loaded. Oops. One second. There we go. All right. Top right-hand corner. Put it on that kind of flat space. So I don't know if that shattered or it went. I did just eat gravel. Uh, always wear eye protection. Just saying. All right, let's see what happened. Where did it hit? Okay, so. It looks like the impact was here. And once again, it does not look like the bullet traveled all the way through, but the, the energy transfer from tile to tile, because they're leaning on each other, caused them to shatter. So this stopped about five in. The round's just gone. I don't know if we're gonna be able to find anything in this mess. But, 
This is extremely good at stopping bullets, but like once. So interesting, interesting thing. If you guys do shoot something like this, do get back. We were about 15 yards, got hit by uh, chunks of ceramic. We were safe because we both have eye protection, ear protection. So if you do enjoy recreational shooting like myself, be safe and uh, yeah, have fun. If you like what we do out here, please consider subscribing. Uh, hit the bell, leave a comment, helps other people find my content. Uh, thank you so much for watching and uh, stay tuned for more. Bye.